Why not round out the holidays with a little bit of service towards others? Miss Pleasant Grove, Savvy Allen is here to talk how her initiative is helping out refugee families. Welcome. Yes, I'm so happy to be here. We're so <laughs> glad you're here. Let's talk about Project Shine and what it is exactly. Okay, I created this organization because all growing up, I was taught that when you do good, you feel good. And I wanted to give people the same opportunity to learn the same thing. And I've learned as I've done this, everyone wants to serve. No one knows where to go or how to do it. And that's what I wanted to fix. I wanted to give people the opportunity to come to me for my monthly service projects or other ideas I'm giving to learn that and to have their kids join in. Everyone wants to serve, they just don't know how. As Miss Pleasant Grove, you have this platform that yes. you can find <laughs> these projects in our community and you can make sure you shine a light on them. Why did you choose this one? I have always had a soft place in my heart for these refugees and I have been able to work with them a couple of different times and every time I have gone, I can truly say it has changed me and it's changed the way I look at the world. And as I've been looking at either one for Christmas and looking at my options, this one just really touched my heart and these people really touched me. So what exactly are we doing for the refugees okay. and how can we help? Yes, I'm so excited. There are so many refugees in Utah that are in need of help and they have all come with literally nothing and I wanted to help them in any way I could. So I was able to collect with my whole community and with lots of help, 140 hygiene kits, 140 cleaning supply kits and 140 families will all get a Christmas present, one for the mother and one for each child. So what goes in these kits? What, what did you okay. put in there? Yes, yeah, so each cleaning supply kit has a spray cleaner for disinfectant, a toilet bowl cleaner, a Lysol. So that's this? Yes, scrub. That is this. And wow. it is full of cleaning supplies, just the necessities that they're needing. But it's things you take for granted. Mm -hmm. Yes. Until you don't have it. Exactly, exactly. And in the hygiene kits, there's like toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, any of those bare necessities that we need to just get to the And that's this day. one right here. This is the hygiene kit? Yes. These okay. Ziploc baggies are full of the hygiene kits and everything that they need inside. I'm, I'm blown away with how much you've been able to do. Me too. I was not expecting this. It was just a simple idea and my community really came together and donated so much stuff we couldn't even believe our eyes. Savvy, do you so find grateful. that people want to give and they want to help, that you just need to help them channel it into the right spot? Absolutely. When you give people the idea, they truly run with it and they will do anything that they possibly can do to help in any way, shape or form. What's in this big bag over here? This is a gift for one of these special children that are in one of these families. So there's this wooden toy piece to put together together, a doll for them, a coloring book, oh, this stuffed is animals. This so great. I'm going to hold this baby yes. while you pull the rest of the stuff out. Yes. I noticed on the back it says, is this girl two to five? Yes. So each one is labeled either boy, girl, and their age limit so that we're giving them the right toy that they can actually enjoy. Is this your mom right here videoing? Yes. I'm picturing this is my your house mom. of stuff. <laughs> I'm picturing that yes. you've been putting this together yes. for weeks and weeks and now it's the culmination with a big event that is happening today. Tell our viewers about it. Yes, so today from 3 to 5 at Bud Bailey Housing Connect I am having the opportunity with lots of volunteers to go and deliver this Christmas as well as throw them a holiday party where we're doing crafts and giving them gifts and Santa and Mrs. Claus are coming and just a fun party for them to enjoy and to receive these wonderful gifts. If you can't necessarily come to the party tonight is there still a way you can help? Yes, I have a Venmo. It's sav Dash Miss PG 2022 any money that is donated there will go either to these gifts and these supplies or they are going straight to these refugee families for, for all their needs. So now's the time, everybody, that you feel like giving, and that is the best way to help. We'll put that information that's on your screen on our website, abc4.com slash GTU. You're not done. You rotate service projects. You yes. already have a plan of what's coming up for 2023. <laughs> yes, I have each month planned out, and each month I like to do a little bit of a different thing. And my next one is actually for teen centers. I'm going together with an organization that's trying to put a teen center in every single high school for those that feel like they don't have a home to go to or they don't have food or they don't have the bare necessities I'm working together with them to start gathering that and getting that going I just have to give you a huge <laughs> hug because oh I am gosh. inspired and we need more people like you Thank you need you. a little bit of her energy too <laughs> yes. like what'd you have you. for breakfast <laughs> <laughs> here maybe if I link arms with her it'll rub off yeah, really good rub off. Savvy, thank you so too. much for all you're doing for our community and don't forget everybody that Venmo on our website and that luncheon coming up this afternoon up next